Talk about stubborn. Every time my wife saw a Sure commercial, she felt like she was missing something. She even had living proof that Sure helps keep you dry. Me. But she still wouldn't park with her roll-on. I've always liked the control I get with the roll-on. And then I discovered that Sure has a roll-on. It's so effective that nothing will keep me drier. Now, I don't always need all that protection, but when I do, there is a roll-on I can be sure of. Discover Handcrafted Homes in Oak Hill Edition. Homes that are handcrafted on spacious one-half acre estates away from the noise of the city and crowded neighborhoods. These homes are built with special attention given to detail. The kind of attention you would give your home. 100% VA, 95% conventional financing available with guaranteed closing cost of $1,800. Handcrafted Homes, just a short drive from Temple, T.I., Belton, and Killeen on Highway 317. Laurel and Hardy, Evelyn Costello, Martin Lewis, and now, Cheech and Chong, the wackiest comedy team of the past four decades in Up in Smoke. The movie with no tar, no nicotine, and absolutely no tobacco. Don't go straight to see Cheech and Chong in Up in Smoke. Rated R. Starts Friday, August 25th at the Diamond Point Theater in Waco, the Cinema Plaza in Killeen. Check newspapers for showtimes. TXAM Radio has Dick Aldama, John Lippert, Mike Braun, Don Kaiser, Dave South, Frank Fallon, and Bill Castello. Entertainment Information, TX. you've enjoyed Assault on a Queen, starring Frank Sinatra and Fernalisi on the TX Saturday Night Movie. Join us tomorrow for A Boy Ten Feet Tall, starring Edward G. Robinson and Constance Cummings on the TX Sunday Night Movie. Capsule form, here are the latest news headlines from the Region 10 Television Newsroom. Spending a summer day at home in Plains, Georgia, President Carter went fishing, dropped in at the stores in town, and played a game of softball. Informed sources say that as part of his gradual return to public life, former President Richard Nixon is planning trips to Europe and Asia, possibly next month. Continuing its attacks on Egypt's peace overtures to Israel, Moscow today charged that Egyptian President Sadat is giving Israel the upper hand by taking part in the September 5th summit at Camp David. More than a hundred Mexican farmers got some land of their own today when the government broke up one of the biggest private ranches in the nation. A disagreement among Energy and State Department officials over the length of a nuclear test ban treaty has made things difficult for U.S. arms negotiators under presidential orders to negotiate a full treaty banning nuclear testing. The Texas Attorney General's office is investigating possible criminal conduct in connection with the death of Howard Hughes. The head of the criminal division in Austin will release a few details. In a Temple News conference yesterday, Republican Senator John Tower says President Carter's veto of the fiscal 1979 procurement authorization bill is another example of his disregard for the nation's defense strength. Singer Pat Boone in Dallas court documents says that neither he nor his family ever used a mail-order acne medicine that he has endorsed with his singer daughter in radio and television commercials. A limited reenactment of the Kennedy assassination will be staged early tomorrow in Dallas. The House Assassinations Committee is hoping to determine if more were fired. Weather for the region, partly cloudy and hot, with an overnight low of 75 and a high on Sunday, 99. It's the policy of TX Television to keep you informed throughout each day and interrupt any program for news and weather of major importance. To keep informed, always stay tuned to TX TV.